Today we geek out about loot and shoot. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee from Geek City USA here, and today I just wanted to stop and take a quick minute to talk about a game called Loot and Shoot. Now this is a game by Steve Avery and Vile Genius Games. It's out on Kickstarter, it just went live, and I had an opportunity to play test this this past weekend at Proto ATL, which is a, a convention for prototype games and, and different game designers to present their games to publishers or to play testers to just get familiar with the games and create a buzz and all this other stuff and uh, which was a great time and I'll have a video on that but um, I had a chance to play Loot and Shoot. Now I saw this game a few months back um, and I was really interested in it back then and having had an opportunity to see it sitting at a corner table you know with a whole lot of people hooting and hollering and yelling and actually getting a chance to play it myself, I, I have to say this game is fantastic. You, uh, everybody has goblins and you're placing them and you're trying to get treasure based on where you place them on the board. So if they're still standing on your turn, you could take them back and you get to draw a treasure card. Um, you know, that's all fine and fine and dandy and every, every goblin has a special player power, which is cool in and of itself, but you have rubber band guns that you get to shoot to try and knock down your opponent's uh, goblins. And this game, that alone was fun, but in these treasure decks, as you're drawing treasure cards, you also are drawing cards that are making your opponents do silly things to, uh, I guess, impair their ability to shoot straight, which if you're shooting with a rubber band gun, that's always that's already entertaining as it is. Um, but, uh, for example, some of the cards might have your opponent spinning in a circle and hopping up and down on one leg and trying to aim at one of your goblins to shoot it and hopefully not hit their own. Um, and I just have to say that if you have an opportunity, definitely take a look at this game out on Kickstarter right now. It is a lot of fun. It's a game that I think would be accessible uh, to people of all ages because I remember being a kid playing with rubber band guns. Of course, I grew up in the 80s, so that might tell you something. But, um, you know, we used to shoot each other with these rubber band guns all the time. And now here you have an excuse and a reason to be a grown adult and still get to shoot at each other. You're not really shooting at each other, but you know, you have the opportunity if you want to, I guess, accidentally shoot at one of your buddies. Um, but no, this game was a lot of fun. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. I think there's definitely a lot of uh, replayability. And what we played was just the, the base game, which was, you know, four walls and you're shooting through the holes in the walls at your opponent's uh, goblins. But there's also a, uh, an expansion to the game that's on it, which is like Crystal Caverns or something of that nature, where you stack the board on top of this area that has bigger openings, so it's at more of a risk, but your goblins can draw um, g different gold and gems and, and stuff like that. And really cool idea, really neat concept. Um, like I said, I knew about the game be before we saw it at Proto ATL, and having had a chance to play it, I was really, really impressed and, and blown away by the game. Um, I did get shot in the head uh, by a rubber band, so uh, if that impairs my judgment at all, I don't know, you, you tell me, but um, no, this game was great. So I would definitely go check it out right now. It's on Kickstarter. Um, I, I'm not sure how long it's running for, so take a look at it, see if it fits your group. Again, I think this would be good for anybody because it's a good party game because it's so lighthearted, it's so much fun. You can play it with kids, you can play it with adults. Uh, so go, you know, take a minute, check it out and see if it's, if it's up your alley. All right, guys, that's it. This is Lee from Geek City USA. Thanks for hanging out with us and listening to me talk about Proto ATL and one of the games that I saw. Um, go check it out on Kickstarter and comment down below if you're interested in the game, if, you've, if you like it or if you had a chance to play a prototype of it. And uh, definitely like and subscribe and check out our other videos and we'll talk to you next time. See you later. Oh wait, you're making them do a yep. shot. I want you to spin around four times before shooting. <laughs> All my guys are facing you. you so. If anybody else has them to do something. Oh yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> Payback's gonna be uh, fun. Alright, so should I stand and spin, then crouch and shoot, or do you want me to crouch and spin? Uh, it's your card. No, stand and spin, then crouch and shoot. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Just okay. spun him. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> you get four points if you throw up on the board, though, oh, right? Nice. No, no, you do not. <laughs>